Welcome to the Inside Track on Real Estate with the Decker team. I'm Yetta Decker, and today I'm here with a brand new sidekick. And I don't know if you've noticed, I got a white shirt on today. It's because my sidekick came with a white shirt, so we decided to wear our logo wear. Aren't, mm-hmm. we, aren't we good? Yeah, no, and perfect. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is Jerome from Sora Lens. And so I think I'm saying it right. Yeah, Sora Lens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to slow it down to say it. Yeah. To get it right. Yeah. And so Jerome has a really interesting company that he runs. Yeah, uh, I co-founded it with three uh, or two other friends. And uh, the name was actually hard to get because there's so many aerial photography companies, just not drone aerial photography companies. So many people who have their plane and then they just decide to take aerial pictures. So... um, Getting the name was one of the hardest parts, and then and then we went on from there. And how long have you had your company, Jerome? We started with the Youth Entrepreneurship Grant la- last May, so about a year now. And uh, and so we went all year last year, and then there's our second year going, but there's no on- uh like no no government help this time this year no government help so no. you're figuring it out all by yourselves yeah they had uh, they had mentors which was really helpful oh. and uh, and so we I learned a lot through that and then uh, and now and now I'm putting that to use well I put it to use last year but now I'm putting it more to use and learning more as I go along this year good and I can actually attest to that. Jerome and his buddies have learned a whole lot about how to do a great job. So if you want to see actually their work, you can go to their website. Yeah, SoraLens.com. Right? Yeah, and Sora is S-O-R-A <laughs> Lens, L-E-N-S. Right. Sora Lens. I yeah. had to really slow it down so that yeah. I didn't say it wrong. Yeah. And the amazing thing that we had the privilege of was they actually ran a little contest, didn't you? Yeah, we ran a promo on uh, Twitter. That said, uh, hey, if you if the next the next realtor office that gives us a shout out, um, we'll give them a promotional picture package for them, and then they can see what we can do, and then we can also get out on the ground, and then uh, and shoot some more stuff too. So it'll build our portfolio, and then help them sell their houses. So so yeah, we did that. We uh, we st- we it, we put the contest out on Twitter and got a pretty good fast response. Your uh, Leah, I think, was the one who. Who grabbed it on Twitter and then and then got it? So yeah, it went out went out pretty well. We, I think, last week you you, you won the contest, and then this week we were waiting for weather to clear up, and then we went right away went and shot it, and then uh, and then delivered it within uh, I think twenty five hours or something. So, it, it was yeah. fast, and the property actually is one you want to go look at. It was actually a good one to do, wasn't right, it? Right, yeah. No, right on the St. Lawrence there. Pretty nice spot. Nice and calm on a dead-end street, so no no through traffic. So Yeah, so there's no cars in the pictures at all. No boats in yeah, the pictures. Nothing. They're just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and it's right beside the uh, 416 there, so easy highway access, but still way out um, on your own there, so... Yeah. yeah, so if you want to check that out, you'll want to go to DeckerTeam.com. The photos are there, and we're, of course, using using them for all kinds of promotional right. um, opportunities for that particular property. So yeah. it's, a, it's a really neat, extraordinary home, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a nice old, uh, I think, it, it was right near a heritage site for the War of 1812 and stuff like that. I saw some signs when we were down there shooting, so... Yeah, it's definitely on a very historic part of Canada, right on that St. Lawrence there. That was like one of the first places they landed, I think. So yeah. Yeah. and beautiful. Yeah, great, yes. great, pl- great place. Yeah. So if you're interested in an extraordinary home and you want to see extraordinary pictures by an extraordinary company called Sora Lens, you want to check it out on DeckerTeam.com. So, how did you? first even come up with the whole idea of working with drones rather than an airplane because that's typically been yeah how it's been done how it's been done right yeah. and i think with a drone you can probably do more oh yeah yeah you can get a lot more in and closer details what the plane guys get is far out and like blown out you don't really see much detail of the house for sure not the house and the property around it but then like if they're always very far away and if they are clipped in they're always like zoomed in but not zoomed like they're just clipped to get a good picture so with drones you can get we we have a thousand feet ceiling with transport canada but that's that's perfect for us because that's what we need and then we can go around and grab the pictures like even just with a 50 or 100 foot rise up with that with that angle it's just 
it grabs your eye. It's like an, an, an angle you don't see very often. And you get to uh, get to experience and see exactly what's around the house without even stepping on the lot. So it's definitely a cool, uh, a cool thing to do. Well, and I noticed in the pictures that Jerome sent over to us that we're using for promotional material for this great waterfront property is the angles were actually really interesting. Right. And what was kind of fun is as we were all looking at them when they arrived so quickly, we all had favorites and it wasn't the same one. Oh, yeah. That's right? cool. Which That's is cool kind of neat. Like, it's not just, hey, here's one picture. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, so that's really cool. So how did you get the idea in the first place? Well, um, my my first friend was talking about it and uh, talking about this program with Government of Ontario, which I already knew about. Um, but then I hadn't really looked into drone that much, but I've always loved to fly stuff and, like, what kid has doesn't like RC stuff, right, yeah. remote control. So, so uh that's how I first got into it. I thought it was awesome and cool. So then um, the drone was quite expensive at the time. So we went with the government grant, got the grant, and then picked up the drone. And then uh, and then we went from there, really. Uh, I, I learned pretty quick how to do it. And then uh, and then we, we transfer all our stuff to the media guy who, like, edits and everything. Like, it's nothing without that guy. Like, <laughs> you need that guy. Yeah, exactly. The drone is great, and yeah. we need an editor on right. on. Payroll, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Doing the raw, taking the raw pictures and pulling out the reds and the greens and the blues, you know, really to make it a, a full product. And then, yeah, okay. makes it look really good. That's neat. Now, how does the drone work? I mean, we, we it's almost like we use the word as lingo. Yeah, exactly. Drone. Yeah. Okay, how does it work? Well, the drone has, uh, they're, they've been experimenting with um, using planes with cameras in them, like little RC planes. But then they, then they found that quadcopter drones, once they had figured out with the advancements in computer technology, they figured out how to stabilize it a lot more. So now drones is the preferred use to put a camera on uh, with a gimbal and then shoot with the What's drone. What's a gimbal? So a gimbal is the undercarriage of the drone. You have the propellers going, and then you have the undercarriage of the drone with the camera, and it has dampeners to actually stop vibration. So the pictures are pretty cool, but then when you get the video, the, the super smooth glide video, it's even better, like uh, around properties and stuff, you can see a lot. So, okay. so uh, yeah, so, and you can, there's um, some coming out with, uh, with those tech, tech companies like Future Shop and Staples, they have some drones. Um, but those are the lower end models, and then we got a more higher end model that shoots raw pictures and has a better, better quality camera, and so okay. we use that for our for our company. And the better quality camera, what would be some of those big distinctions between that and say the lower end cameras? Because I know if you have a point and shoot mm -hmm. versus an SLR, <laughs> right. there's a big difference, and I'm assuming it's something similar. What would those differences be? Right. Um, the main difference, I think, is the aperture is a lot bigger. Um, we It's actually very much compared to a GoPro uh, with similar specs, but we have a couple more pixels on our end. So we, we shoot with, I think, a 16 megapixel, and the, uh, the, the GoPro, I think, is a 12 megapixel. So. so with the more megapixels, you're getting more pixels within a, cam within a picture, and so more pixels you can manipulate and to bring out exactly what you want in a picture. So. And it's shooting in RAW. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We shoot yeah, all of our pictures in RAW, and then we can actually, on the ground, I can be changing settings on the camera up on the drone. So. Okay. Yeah. So you can do pretty much anything you want. Right, yeah. No, I can change the ISO settings, and I can uh, change if I want a 720p video or 1080p. So, yeah, it's pretty Right cool. from the ground. Right from the ground as I'm in the air, yeah. Wow. And so in terms of, obviously in real estate, this is an extraordinary thing that we can offer our clients, especially where an aerial will totally change right. the experience with the home. Right. And I think we chose the right one. Yeah, exactly. For, for this particular house. scenario. Um, what are some of those other advantages that maybe a homeowner or somebody might just want for themselves? Well, um, uh, when I went, was first playing with the idea and toying with the idea, I, I bounced it off some people. And one guy was joking about how he, he would just keep that picture for, uh, for insurance purposes. He could write it off as a business expense and then have it as insurance purposes so he could see exactly what's, what's around his property and on his property if anything were to get stolen or broken. Right. So, but um, other than that, they're pretty, they're, they're, 
um, at the same price or cheaper than uh, than big plane aerials. Like this isn't a plane that you're fueling up and like taking off a runway to go take pictures of. You know, this is a lot smaller of a setup. It still has the same regulations with the Transport Canada, but since we have that, uh, we don't have to worry as much, and the cost has come down a huge amount from from what these bulky planes used to used to be. So. so that's good. Yeah. So it's reasonably affordable. Right, yeah. No, the uh, picture package that we did uh, for the promotion is actually on uh, spring sale right now. It's normally three fifty, but now it's on sale for two fifty. So that's five to seven pictures, fully color graded all the way around the house. And then, uh, and then we all del- deliver it digital, so you can put them on your business cards or, or promotional items, brochures, anything like that. And most of the time, that's the thing that photographers do they give they they they're also the printer they print out stuff but then they never give you the digitals so we give you the digitals and then you can even toy around with the pictures if you want but then uh, most of the time our our clients will take them and put them on their own brochures and their own websites and stuff like that so wow so you can find a lot of uses for something like that yeah for sure yeah it's uh yeah, like you can put it. I don't know. Even even on those um, those digital uh, picture frames people have now, you can have the pictures of your house rolling through there. Let's say your friends over, they can see what your house looks like from above. It's always a great angle to see your house from, especially if you have a lot of landscaping around, or if you have some cool uh, features around your house, like like the Saint Lawrence, which was on that. Uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a great feature. So. Yeah. And now you mentioned briefly Transport Canada. Right. And I think that's there's been a fair bit of hype. Right, yeah. In the news and the media around drones and that we're not allowed to do aerials and the airspace and all those different right. things. What have you learned from that and what do you have to work within? Well, Transport Canada was a huge uh, um, task to get in, like, involved with them, to get them actually answering back to us and uh, get, the co- get the conversation rolling with them. So basically they, they had a permit system going and they still do where they were they would receive three or four of them a month and uh, and then they'd go through them and then and then they were using that same permit system for drones but they were getting like 10 or 15 a day um each in each province so that was becoming they were getting overloaded and they had a, such a a huge time consuming task of each of these so uh so they they stopped almost a lot of their their permits they were handing out and then, so they, they, so we went to the intensive pro program to get uh, to get um, registered with them, and to also get certified by them, so that we know what we're doing, that we're safe, that we've read their um, their tests and done their exams. So then, uh, so then we're we're certified with them, and then we also have insurance. Uh, like we had to go with like a huge aircraft company insurance that normally. Um, insures like hundreds of millions of dollars of planes, but they insure this little drone just for liability around. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. So the industry. Did you know you were getting into all that when you had no, your little chat with your buddies? No, not at all. We we didn't know that. Um, we knew that a lot of recreational uses for drones is completely fine by the government of Canada. But then when you get in those commercial um, those commercial uses, then the government of Canada. Um, you know, Transport Canada uh, definitely clamps down on that, and they don't want too many people just flying around, like for movies and stuff like that. So, so yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, if you're just joining us on the inside track on real estate with the Decker team today, I'm here with Jerome from Sora Lens. So, a little bit of a different show. We're talking about aerial photography without having to hire a huge plane to do it. Right. And you get a lot more detail in your photos, and you can get some really unique angles. And if you want to check out some great angles, we've got one on our website at decorteam.com on a great waterfront property on the St. Lawrence that we are in the process of actually selling for our clients. And so if you would like that property, you'll want to check it out. And even if you don't want that property, it's not what you're looking for, you may want to check out Sora Lens that way and hire them to do your own photography. Right. Very yeah. cool. And so we've been talking about Transport Canada and how they've applied for their permits and they've received permits and mm-hmm. approval. And I think the other big thing we hear is privacy. Right. What are the privacy concerns around a drone? Because I've been listening to that. I was afraid to go out and buy one. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a couple of um, issues with the drone. Um, people are always worried about with those cam because it has a camera on it and live streaming to your device that you can just fly into someone's backyard and like while they're sun tanning or something like that. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't really work when you're getting clearance with Transport Canada. We 
we have to, uh, it was that, that, that one Gallup Lane property that we did was out in the, uh, in the outskirts of the community that it was close to. So we didn't need to notify too many people. There was no cars on the road and there was nobody at the house. So we had a pretty easy time flying on that property. But more in the suburbs for people who are flying uh, commercially, you have to go tell a lot um, within 150 meters, so 300 feet of where you're going to be flying the drone. Uh, who like uh, Just tell them that, hey, there's a drone. Uh, we're going to be here for the next 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just stay wow. in your house. So um, You actually have to, so if yeah. you're doing something in suburbia, yeah, it's, you actually have to go talk to people. It's a little bit more time consuming, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, but there's always the, the hassle with uh, recreational users. Someone can just pick up this drone and fly it. Um, that is a concern, but uh, I, I also talked to the police of Ottawa about it, and they said, because uh, it does make a lot of noise. Like you it definitely, does or it's, does not? Oh, it does. It sounds like a hive of bees. Like, just like, like it's, it's loud. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so it's definitely not just going to sneak up on you, but uh, most of the people, they, they make a noise complaint, and in the city of Ottawa, most of the time, there's a, uh, there's one complaint made, and then if the if the person who's doing like uh, like let's say flying the drone, if they don't comply, you have to like complain to the person and say you don't want them doing it. If they don't comply, and then and they're doing it again, then you can call the police, and then the police will most most of the time just tell them to stop. But uh, then they can take further action if they depending on the situation for sure. So wow, yeah. So you guys have figured out how to do this and do it right. Right, exactly, yeah. No, we, uh, we want to take safety into consideration, too. So if this drone does go down, it's not going to hit anybody. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Has it ever gone down? Uh, no, they, it's, very, it's very well um, actuated with the uh, com- computer sensors and stuff like that on board. And uh, I have a live, a live uh, video feed with what, with what the camera's seeing, but also what's going on with the drone. <clears throat> if there's... Uh, if there's um, like the battery level, if it's starting to get weak, or if the transmitter level, so I can actually see what the drone is seeing. If that's getting weak, then I can just bring it down. It also has a, if you, let's say you turn off the remote or you lose contact with the drone, it'll come back and hover where uh, where it last was, like when, when it was started, take, t- took off. Okay. So normally you want to take off in a wider area anyways, so driveways or, or uh, lawns or something like that. So it'll come and hover. And if it still doesn't connect up, once it runs out of battery, it'll slowly descend and, and land. Oh, so most okay. of the time, it's making so much noise, too, that like no one would be there even if the person who's controlling it has left. So, so yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely safety is not a big deal. Um, and, you know, we've never had any conflict with birds or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be another thought. Do yeah. the birds stay away from it? There is a video online with a, with an eagle or a hawk that, that attacks the drone. So the guy, like, powered down right away while the, while the eagle was coming and, hit, and hitting it. Not and your then, drone. No, not our Somebody drone. Else's Somebody else's Somebody else's, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and, then, and then it fell down, and then he said the drone was fine and the eagle was fine, too. But it was just, I think, it was because it was praying. Like, uh, there was a... There, I guess the nest was near or something like that. Okay. So the hawk was concerned, I guess, for safety, for its own safety. But, wow. uh, yeah, we've never had any of that, those issues. So, yeah. Wow. Very cool. So in terms of a bene- benefit for an aerial shot, you were saying it has more detail, mm-hmm. right, than something from an airplane. What are right. some other benefits? Well, let's say you put all that money and time into, into making that good landscape around your house, you know. Uh, you want to be able to show that off and um, help cu- uh, clients, if you're a seller, help clients see what is around the house and, and what they can get a feel for the property without even stepping onto the lot. So most of the time in the higher price range of houses, 600 and up, then, uh, then they are more inclined to use our services and, uh, and they'll, and they'll uh, yeah. They'll, they'll use our services to show to show the landscaping around and also the immediate amenities. If there's a park nearby or a bus stop, those are sometimes the selling points of the house. And you can just see that in the picture without even stepping onto the lot. So. And much clearer and a lot more detailed than what we're getting from... Airplanes, yeah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. also from all the stuff that's on Google Maps and all that sort right, of stuff. Right, yeah. Google Maps is very low quality. It right. just It basically gives you, uh, like... It doesn't even really give you a scale. Like you can see cars and then kind of see stuff, but yeah, definitely not what you want to do when you're trying to sell a house, you know? Right. 
Like, you, yeah, you don't want to use Google Earth. <laughs> no, you don't. But it, it gives you a sense of whether there's big, big trees on the property or not. Right, like here yeah. you'd actually be able to tell what Yeah, you can trees. see the height of them and the type of them and the amount of foliage they'll have and the shade that they're casting to. You can see that most of the time, too. So. And have you ever used the drone photography for wedding photography or that kind of thing? Because I can see there might be a use there for even people pictures to get up above. Right. No, not yet. We haven't done any weddings. We've done some uh, some golf courses where he where weddings are held, but it's mostly for the golf course to use for promotional items for their own. Um, but yeah, we haven't done any weddings yet. And that so he'd like to do some weddings. So if <laughs> yeah, that'd like be fun. A, that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I would think it would be a really neat shot because people stand up on a twelve foot ladder to attempt to look down and yeah. get a group shot of the wedding party or a group right. shot of the guests at the wedding or whatever, whereas this might be a really neat way to do it. Would you have to get permission of everybody that was there? Yeah, probably. It's not exactly the most commercially acceptable thing. Like Transport Canada wouldn't exactly vial that as safe because well, <laughs> so many people are there. Uh -huh. But uh, but yeah, that is definitely something that could work. But uh, right. but yeah, you haven't done that yet. So if you want to be a first, you know what to do. Reach Jerome, and he's going to help you figure it out because they've been figuring out stuff for a couple of years now. Yeah, which yeah, which is very cool. What's the most interesting property you have ever done an aerial shot of? Well, and what made it the most interesting? Um, one of the most interesting is actually there's. Uh, We've done a lot of, we're still working on figuring out where we fit in with the, because there's so many things you can shoot with the drones. Um, you can shoot uh, agriculture, you can shoot commercial buildings, you can shoot, um, uh, you know, golf courses, residential properties like that. Um, a lot of cool things that we've shot was uh, with agriculture, with these huge, massive combines going through the field, mowing down all this, uh, this crop. And you're filming there. You're sitting in the sky and filming. The pictures are awesome with the drone, but when you're with that super smooth glide cam and you're just filming in the air, it's a shot you can't get. Not even with a plane, you just can't get it anywhere else. So, um, getting a through harvest season last season in September and October, we uh, we had a pretty good time with uh, with the farmers that that wanted to get a different angle of their uh, of their 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 product and and so so we we shot them and we and like just watching them like move back and forth from the air you know it was very cool to see so if you're a farmer you may want to call Jerome maybe more so than if you're a new newly or going to be newly married couple so maybe right. that wasn't yeah. as great an idea yeah. anyway Jerome has better ideas than I do so it's a good thing I passed it off to him to get some ideas so from an agricultural perspective what a great idea Right, yeah. Or even if you're building a building, I guess, commercially. Yeah, exactly. We've done some commercial buildings where, um, where they, where before they're even built, before they're just, it's just a, a dirt lot, we go up with the drone and you can get the pictures of the, the, um, what, what the floor that they'll be on, the, 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 whatever, whatever apartment they take, what the view will be from that height. Uh. So we don't even need the building there to get that, to get a sense of what that view will be. Oh, and yeah. so, and so, you could just go up to one floor, and then go ten feet up higher, and then go to another floor, and then work your way up, and then uh, and around the building even. Like even yeah. though there's no building there yet, right? You could kind of work your way around the building, and I guess that wouldn't be hard for a drone to do, or you to do with the drone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's not that hard. Wow, that's yeah. fun. So. Commercial buildings, agricultural yeah. pieces of property, even with the equipment out there. What are some of the other interesting uses? Um, we've done we've done for sure a lot of residential with mm -hmm. uh, with with different real estates, uh, real estate companies, and uh, so uh, definitely the vi the video is always sweet. We we teamed up with uh, another company that does uh, virtual tours, and so and so they wanted the drone shots from outside. So we, that's what we did. So we did the drone shots, and then we zoomed up to the front door, and then I went to their the, their in indoor uh, video around the house. So that was a pretty cool team up project where we uh, where we did a bunch of fun stuff, and uh, and I think we made a really great product. So well, I, I bet you did. Yeah, that's an amazing opportunity. So if you want to check this out, how do they find you, Jerome? Well, we have our website at sorelens.com, so www.sorelens.com. You can also give us, give us an email at info at sorelens.com, and then uh, you, can, you can reach us for sure by telephone, 613-869-2514. Say that again, slower. Yeah, it's 613-869-2514. Yeah. 
two five one four. Okay. And all our quotes are for 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 for, for sure free, like non uh, non conditional. And then you can just and you can just even if you're just a homeowner within the auto area, you can just see how much it would be to just get a get a nice shot. But um, on our website, there are prices and and for sure portfolio shots. You can definitely see all our gallery with what we've done uh, to date. So there's a lot of good good looking pictures on there and video. Yeah, and video. Yeah, we actually when I went down to uh, Florida, we grabbed the drone and went down with it, and we got some amazing beach shots. And there's this huge coal, uh, coal, coal producing, uh, coal burning plant that was going, and like some awesome pictures on that too. So yeah, I definitely encourage you guys to check out the website and uh, you know treat yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, that sounds like an awesome opportunity. I know we were thrilled that we have begun that process and and i'm sure gallup lane is going to sell quickly because of it right yeah right? i i think so too i do too and so sore lens is s-o-r-a-l-e-n-s dot mm -hmm. com yeah dot com dot com so you don't want to miss that mix that up with anything else so great property featured this time and it is the one that actually jerome did do because we thought what a perfect blend he just did this in the last day or so and it is on Gallup Lane on the St. Lawrence River. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a great property. Do you want it? Me? Are you ready to buy it? I don't know. It's a little, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a little too old fashioned for me, but it's definitely a great <laughs> heritage home for it those is. people. It is. It's who... a beautiful heritage home. Mm -hmm. So there is something for everybody that we have to offer. So if that's not the waterfront, you want to be a little closer in, we've got some options there as well. And yet you're not going to compete with that quality of waterfront closer into the city either. So right. uh, we thank you for joining us on the Inside Track. So if you want to get a hold of Jerome, you know how. We're going to repeat that phone number one more time. Yeah, it's 613-869-2514. Okay. And I, I definitely welcome any questions or, uh, or comments or concerns. You know, I definitely, definitely love to hear from, uh, from people who are interested in this up-and-coming technology and, and industry. Yeah, and it's not even up and coming anymore. It's already here. Yeah, it's here. You're, you're doing it. And so thanks for joining us on the Inside Track. And do check out Jerome's website as well as ours at DeckerTeam.com to see some great shots with the drone. Yeah. So thanks for joining us on the Inside Track. Thanks, Jerome. Thank you. And we'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye, you guys.